just turning 624 on this Friday morning, and we are celebrating the annual Giant Awards, which has been recognizing African American leaders in our community for more than 40 years. Joining us this morning are committee members Faye Richardson Green and Misty Stanton. Thank you both so much for waking up early <laughs> and being here with us live in the studio. Misty, let's start with you. Tell okay. us a little bit more about the Giant Awards and its mission in our community. Yes, yeah, so. The Giants Award um, is very has a rich tradition in our community. It's it's a space where few people of color were ever recognized mm -hmm. around the table uh, with their work, and so this is an opportunity for us to highlight them, show their strength, encourage them. We have the Giants Committee was formed, and I think they were well before their time because they created a space where you could recognize people of color for their talents their strengths, their perseverance, and their intelligence. So we are happy to be part of this legacy. Um, the Giants will take place, the awards will take place Saturday tomorrow. We have over 850 participants wow. that will be wow. there to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And I think that is fantastic. Um, when you talk about an impact in our community, this is a legacy that will live on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. When you think about the legacy of the Giant Awards, what comes to mind and what are you maybe most proud of? Either one of us. Either one of you, yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I'm most proud of the fact that we are still celebrating mm -hmm. ourselves 41 years after this all began. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, um, Dr. Pa uh, Patricia Pulliam and Cedric Ward were the two individuals who actually pulled together a small group of folks and curated these awards. The first one was in February of 1983. Oh. Last year we had a celebratory party um, celebrating that 40 year history and legacy in the greater Grand Rapids area. Certainly something to be proud of. Now tell us what you look for when choosing the recipients of these awards. You know, it, it's an interesting um, process. I wish I could say that it was a scientific <laughs> process, but it's not. Um, one of the things that um, some folks think is that if I just do a really good job, mm -hmm. I can nominate myself or somebody will nominate me because I have done good work in my profession. What we look for are individuals who have had a broad-based impact within the community. It could be within your profession, but doing a good job at what you do is not enough. Um, are you influencing beyond your immediate work or professional area? Are you influencing beyond your church or the school in which you work? Hmm. And so we've got 11 categories, each of them focused on um, uh, justice, mm. you know, medicine, business, et cetera, but what is the broader impact that you have had on the African American community? Yeah, you gotta be doing big things. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Beautiful words, thank you so much. There's the information on your screen. This is happening tomorrow at 6 p.m. at DeVos Place. Emily, you're gonna be there. That's right, I'm so excited to be <laughs> joining you all, emceeing alongside Jamal Spencer, a familiar name for us. So thank you all so much for waking up early and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow well, night. We are delighted that you're gonna be there. Yes, 850 people, this is gonna be yes, a great time. It's a, big, a great time. it's a big deal, it is a big <laughs> thank deal. Thank you ladies so much. Thank, thank you. you.